Hey guys, welcome back to my channel San and Nastaki and in this video we will discuss what is trunking in San switch. So related to this topic, few days back I have posted one question in my channel asking a question what is trunking in San switch. So I gave four options. First option was logical grouping of more than one FC port in Brocket SAN switch. Second option was traffic flows from multiple VSAN via same FC port in Cisco MDS, all of the above and none of the above. So 63% of voter has to say that uh, both option 1 and option 2 are correct answers. 21% says that first option is the correct answer and 13% went, went with uh, the second options. 2% has to say that none of the above. In this video, we will come to know what, ex what is the exact answer of this question. So before proceeding further, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that whatever new video I upload in my channel, you will get a notification immediately. So trunking has different meaning in Cisco MDS switch and it has different meaning in brocade switch. We will discuss those one by one. So first we will see what is trunking in brocade switch. In brocade switch, trunking is logical combination of more than one physical port to get higher bandwidth and load balancing. It means if you have a physical port and that port is not sufficient enough to handle the traffic, you can logically combine one more port to the existing physical port to get a higher bandwidth. For example, if you have a 4 Gbps FC port, if you are trunking another 4 Gbps ports, then the total bandwidth will become 8 Gbps and it will also provide the load balancing. Trunking can be done on F port and E port in Brocket SAN switch. So I have already discussed what are the different types of ports in one of my video. Click on the I button on top of this video and that will redirect you to the video where I have explained what are the different types of ports in SAN switch network. Now in Brocket switch, there are two commands to check the trunk port. Port CFG show, it will show what are the ports are in the trunk mode and switch show will show you which one is the master port and which one is the slave port. Right hand side, you will be able to see these two options. If you see master or slave configuration or anything like that, then consider those port as trunk port. So this was the case in the brocade switch. Now let's see what is the meaning of uh, trunking in Cisco MDS. In Cisco MDS, it has completely different meaning. In Cisco MDS, trunking enables an e-port to send and receive frames from multiple vSAN. So vSAN is basically a way to segregate the entire hardware architecture into logical SAN network. So create a vSAN, assign some ports to it, create another vSAN, assign some other ports to it and the communication will not happen between those two ports. If you want to allow traffic between the ports which belongs to two different vSAN, then you need to enable trunking in Cisco MDS. Now one limitation is here that trunking is only applicable to e-ports in Cisco MDS. While in case of brocade, it was applicable to f-port and e-port. But here in Cisco MDS, it is only applicable to e-ports. Now, if you want to see if the port is a the port is enabled for trunking or not, then you need to use the command show interface and then the interface name. In this, uh, for example, I have given here show interface fc1 slash 13. At this point of time, I am pretty much sure that you got the difference between trunking in Cisco MDS and Sand switch. Now you can also easily guess what would be the answer of this question. So that is all of the above. So both option 1 and option 2 are the answer of this question. But you have to use this terminology in proper scenario. So if you are talking about brocade sand switch, then you need to use trunking if it is applicable to logical grouping of FC ports. Now in case of Cisco MDS, if you are using trunking, then the scenario must be related to the traffic flows from multiple vSAN through same FC port. So the answer is all of the above. Now the question comes, 
what is the terminology we can use for uh, logical combination of FC ports in Cisco MDS. So the answer is port channel. So analogy of brocade trunking in Cisco MDS is called port channel. In Cisco MDS, port channel is a way to aggregate more than one physical port logically to get higher bandwidth and load balancing. I have already created a entire video on port channel in case of Cisco MDS. Again, click on the I button on top of this video where you will get entire explanation of uh, port channel in Cisco MDS. That's all for this video. I hope you got an idea what is trunking and now you should be able to use the word trunking in correct scenario. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.